Hello and welcome to the Bigger Flip Show. My name is Michael Pinto, where I teach you how to start flipping houses or already doing it, how to grow your business. So we are continuing in a very, very long series of mistakes that real estate investors make. I've made all of these, this one particularly, and it is about pricing your properties. And what you should not do is price your properties when you're selling them based on your costs or on how much profit you want. So I can say without a doubt that every single property that I lost money on was the same mistake. I looked at what I wanted to make or what I had spent on it or how long it had taken and I had picked a number. I picked a number to ask for it based on that. And I didn't really take into account what the market was going to pay for it and staying below large psychological numbers, like I said before. And in the end, um, when I think of the properties that I lost money on, if I had just priced them right, I may not have even lost money on them because they would have sold much faster. Um, and I think that you have to understand that when you put a property out that you're going to ask, let's say a retail property that you rehabbed or a wholesale property, no one cares what you spent on it. No one cares how much profit you wanted to make on it. They just are going to look at it in relation to other properties that are for sale. So always, as we said before, stay below large psychological numbers. So if you think you want to sell a property for $615,000, you should absolutely price it at five ninety nine dollars always. Um, and if it's worth six fifteen, dollars then you'll get it. And if it's not, then you'll find out what it's worth. So don't make the same mistake I did. Um, price the properties based on what the market says it's worth and stay below large psychological numbers. Uh, stay low because you want more people to see it, more people to make offers on it. You want a feeding frenzy to maximize your profit. So as crazy as it sounds, very often you have to price a property lower to make more money. It's absolutely the case today when everybody is looking for a bargain and when the interest rate adjustments from uh, last two summers ago happened, or last summer when they happened, um, people are looking for bargains. You want to be that bargain. You want your property to be that bargain. And you're asking price is the number one way you are going to communicate that. Thank you very, very much for watching.